Okay, hi little painters. We're going to be painting in my new cartoony studio. Don't you just love it? Big people, if you're watching right now, hit the submit button. Not submit, sorry, subscribe. Subscribe! I'm going to be putting out a couple of uh, free videos every week So uh, for the kids. I also have big people ones too, but subscribe here and uh, keep up to date with the new ones that I've got coming out. So we're going to start off, we're going to be painting um, a really fun little crab. Uh, if you can see that, fun little crab. Um, we're going to start off, get your background to either a light blue color or a teal color, whatever your kids want, some sort of oceany looking color. Um, and I am going to start off real simple with the shape. First of all, we're going to do his eyes. So I've already got my background done in my color. So get yours done and then quickly give it a good blow dry and then we're going to be ready to go. So I'm going to move my camera now so that it's just right on the screen. Say goodbye. Okay, let me just get that so you got most of the screen there. There we go. All right, so I'm going to start off with um, just a couple of eyeballs. So one eye is going to be bigger. You don't want to go too high because he's got some eyebrows that float above up here. In the middle-ish, in the middle-ish, he's going to have one big eye. One big round eye. And then beside it, he's going to have a smaller eye. So two round circles. All right. And then take, I used my little brush for that. And I'm going to take my medium sized brush and I'm going to color that all in white. Doesn't have to be super dark. Color it all in white. It's okay that some of my background is showing because I'm going to probably give these two coats and then it'll be really nice and bright. So don't try to make it super bright white first. It's okay if you can still see some of the background through. This will dry pretty fast. It'll dry pretty fast. And then when you go with the next time, it's going to be nice and dark. Okay? Or nice and bright. Whatever. Just two circles beside each other. Just a nice light, light paint of white. And if you see any like globby lines in there, I want you to smooth those out. Just smooth them out so that they will dry fast. Mine's almost dry already. That's a good sign. So I'm going back to my little pointy brush, clean off that. I'm going to go with red because I'm going to have a red crab. And if you guys know what a football looks like, his body shape is basically just a football. So we're going to start at the middle of his eye, right at the side and come down like that. And then also on the other side, right in the middle, Come down like, whoops, it's okay if you wiggle a little bit. We can fix that up with the paint, just like that. So when you finish that, I'm painting sideways, so I can't really see if it looks right, but I can make it bigger if I want. I've got to leave room on this side for his legs and stuff. So here's where I make it look like a football. There, wow, hello, football. Hello, football. Crabs are kind of flat, right? They have the little flat backs and stuff. We can make our eyeballs even bigger if we want to make our eyeballs bigger. It's up to you. You can make your crab fatter if you want just by making this football a little bit lower. It doesn't matter about this line right here because we're coloring it all in red. So it's not a mistake at all. Don't think you're making a mistake. So why don't we do that? Let's take, um, first of all, while we have this little brush with some red on it, go underneath where the eyes are and make, um, make that red under there so that when we go with the big brush, we don't accidentally hit our eyeballs, okay? Ooh, there we go. Mr. Crab. Hey, Mr. Crab. And you guys, uh, I don't know what I'm painting yet next time. Don't know yet. But I am going to be painting for you guys. Today is Wednesday. So Wednesdays 
and hmm, maybe Wednesdays and Thursdays. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow. I'll do two in, in a week, and you guys can just play around with them whenever you want because they're here on YouTube. Maybe if you have a smart TV, your big person can put you up on the big TV, and then you can just stop me with remote when you need time. Okay, so I'm going to my bigger brush now. It's not really huge. See how, how it is on my hand? It's not a giant brush. But it will help us to paint faster. When we um, use the bigger brush. If you're not really good around the edges and you think you might go over the edge, then use your little brush like you did here around all the edges and then just fill the center in with the red. And the more you paint, the better you'll be with your brush. I like this crab so far. I had so much fun painting the wall behind me. I wanted it to look like a comic book. I think it does. Just wanted it to be fun. I wanted my painting time to be super fun. And that makes me really happy. When I come in and I see that big wall, I'm very happy. Okay, I'm going to put that away. And I'm going to go back to my medium brush. So when you're done, uh, where's my medium brush? Clean your medium brush off. Remember what I said about cleaning it off? Wiggle it around in the water. And when you don't see any color come off on your paper towel, then you know that you've got it really good clean brush because you don't want to be painting the eyes and have pink on your brush and then you're going to have it all pink eye and we want to have nice white eyes so i'm going back to my eyes because they're not bright enough and my eyes are dry so i'm putting a second coat on and it does not have to be thick because i've already got some color down there the second time i put it on it gets nice and solid white love that but it has to be dry first so if yours isn't dry just get your big person to use a blow dryer and make your eyeballs dry i bet you guys are missing your school and your friends now with this shut in thing that we have to do for that COVID. I'm not fun. I miss my friends. I'm a big person and I miss my friends a lot. We're very lucky though, you know, because we have Facebook and we can meet people online now, just like I'm meeting with you. Can you imagine? When I was a little girl, they didn't have computers in the house, so we wouldn't be able to communicate with our friends at all. We'd have to like phone. But you know what? We didn't even have a phone to ourselves. We had to share the phone with all of our neighbors. Yeah, I pick up my phone and my neighbor would be talking. I'd have to wait for them to finish. And then I get my turn to call somebody. It was called a party line. It wasn't a party though. Okay, so we are going to draw some crab legs. Here's the fun part. So let's start with the claws at the front, okay? He's got some big claws. So right where his eyes are, we don't want to be straight underneath, but you can. They're going to be to this side and then over to this side. So off to the side of the eyeball, if you... Sorry, they're having a little fight upstairs. So I've got little boys that live upstairs and they're fighting. See here, this, if you go straight down from the side of your eyeball, and then you draw just a little lines like that. Those are little crab arms. That's funny. And then over here, if you go down to the side of that eye and then down, then you could draw some little 
um, crab arms over there. Right? Okay, so this one's going to come straight down. I'm going to color that one in red. But this one over here, I want it to come down and then come this way just a little bit. So I'm going to make it like that. She's got like a little elbow there. Kind of fun, right? Okay, now we are going to draw circles, sort of. So this one is like a half a circle on this side. Half a circle. And then on this side, it's going to be a little bit smaller. Go around, and then it stops right there. Don't go all the way. Don't make a complete circle. Because crab claws have like pinchers. They're, they're pinchy. So we're going to draw a diamond or diamond a triangle in the top and then just gonna make it jagged like that and then it comes to a point see now it looks like pinchy like a wrench kind of and then we're gonna do the same on the other side it's only it's smaller so in out in out and then to a point. Then we're going to color that all in. I'm just using a little brush for this because I don't want to scribble too much on the um, crunchy parts. It's raining today, so the boys can't be outside playing. It's a good day to paint. I hope you're liking these paintings. I'm having fun doing them for you. I get to paint with your parents too. Or your big people are painting with me at nighttime. I'm having fun with them as well. Keeps me from being lonely. I feel like I have friends painting with me. Makes me very happy. So there is one crabby claw. We're gonna do the same on the other side, but because I have him bent a little bit there. See this little bend? He's, his big claw is going to be sort of sideways a little bit. So sideways, that way. And then this one will be out, go out, and then stop short. And then that diamond, triangle I should say again, go up, down, up, down, up, and then make it pointy. Same on the other side. Up, down, up, down. Make it pointy. There you go. Fill that one in too. The big people, when you're watching, I don't really talk like this normally, um, but I don't know how little you little painters are. So I just talk so that you can understand what I'm saying. Big people, we have a little more fun. We have a little more fun at our nights. And the paintings are a little bit harder. But not really. I try to make them this simple too for the big people. A lot of big people have never painted since they were in school. So... You want to keep it pretty simple and easy. And pretty. I love it. Now, he has other legs, too. Just let me um, go talk to somebody here for a second because it's getting real loud. Hey, CJ. Yeah. I'm filming right now. I'm just, I'm filming live right now. Are you? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh-oh. One of the little boys got in trouble and he got sent for a timeout. I said, be very loud. Very loud upstairs. That's what happens though, right? When you get stuck inside because it's raining. So boring. There's two little boys and they're having like a little bit of a fight. So let's start with this first leg. Off to the side where it meets right here at the little point of his um, football shape. We're going to draw a line that comes, you can't even see this because it's on top, but just pretend. So there's going to be a line there. It's going to come up 
and it's going to swoop down. It's going to be in like another little sideways football. See that? Color it in. I'm going to show you later with black. Maybe I'll just do these outside shapes and then I'll show you with some black when we um, go all around the outside to make it look all cartoony. Um, then I will show you what it looks like. So from here, we're going to have a leg. Let's draw a, like a little triangle right here in red. See that triangle? Draw that triangle. That's important. Then up here... Give it some space up there. Draw another line. And then we're going to go way up and swoop it around. Keep it kind of sharp there, but swoop it around down to that one. I want to have a little bit of, I want to have a little bit of a point there. And then come around. So let's color that in. That's another leg. It's okay if you get paint, you put paint on top of that leg. That's fine. There's another leg. And then the next leg, it's just a triangle here. And we're going to color that in. It's all going to show up in a minute when we go over it with black. But right now, just make these make these shapes, okay? And then on the other side, we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to bring the painting over closer to me. It's stuck there. Get closer to me, and I'm going to make the same shapes on the other side. So right at the edge, there's going to be a football that comes down to be the same size as that one so that it doesn't look like he's got a bigger leg on one side than the other side. Super fun! Okay, and then we have to draw that little triangle. And then there's a bigger leg here and then up there and then down and around to this leg. Just like the last one. All the fun starts happening when we put the black on it. Just follow what I'm doing. And we'll sort it all out when, when this is all dry. While we're doing this, our eyeballs are drying because we have to put another, put some other colors on there. Now, what else? Oh yeah, it's got a little triangle right here. There you go. So now he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. Eight legs. Okay, we need to wash all the red off of that one. Got a paper towel. Let's see if any red comes off. That's the wrong brush. Oh, yeah, still getting some red. Wash it some more. My water's a little bit red, so that's pretty good. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make, why oh, didn't you tell you what colors to start with? Oh, so bad. Blue, yellow makes green, but whatever color background, you can do that in blue and white. Sorry, I totally forgot. Uh, black, white, and red. That's it for the colors. My bad. Okay, so a little bit of blue and a whole bunch of yellow. I'm going to make some green color. Don't need a whole lot. I really don't need a whole lot, but I do want some green, but I want it to be lighter than that. So I am going to take a little bit of white and put it in my green. Oh, that's a pretty color. Nice light green color. 
and roll that around on your brush so that it's not too bad. And you want to put right in the center, I'm going to put a green circle. Nice light green circle. And in the center of this one, same thing, light green circle. Make those the same size. They're kind of big because we have to put a little black circle inside of those, okay? So that's all we need the green for. That's it. Clean that brush off. Clean that brush off. And while we have the white, let's make some bubbles all over our... We're waiting for things to dry. So let's put some bubbles. And they're just circles. Remember how I said sometimes they're close... Sometimes they're small and there's some group together. Maybe there's a big one here. That's what makes them look like bubbles. Otherwise, they just look like circles all over the page. So you can have one by itself, but if your whole page is just bubbles all by themselves, it just looks like circles. So add a little one right to it. Maybe some right here. And then the third one, now it looks like really looks like bubbles. You put one there, put one over here. Maybe there's one, look, it crossed right over it. That's okay, bubbles are see-through. So wherever you think you wanna have a bubble, you just put some circles. They can be all by themselves, or they can be three or two or one just by themselves. Is that enough bubbles? I think so. I think so. All right, so I'm finished with white. I don't need white anymore, so I'm gonna clean that brush off. Still gonna use that little round one. But I want to dry it off, and then I wanna go into the black, because black is fun. We're gonna use white just for one more thing in a little while. We're gonna give our eyeball a little bit of a shine. But go right in the center of your green. Right there, see the dot right in the center? Maybe you can't, I don't know. Might get a little bright. But right in the center, and I'm gonna do a smaller black dot. If it's not showing up, it just means that your paint is still wet. So we'll just give that a little a little minute. Is it showing? Can you see? Ooh, my plastic just fell over. All right. Stay it. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because I want to see that black right in the center of your green. My black is, or my green isn't dry, so it's not showing up as much as I'd like it to. But I do like it. So I'm going to tap some on there. I'll give it some white in just a second. I'm going to give him a little crooked smile. So right down below this, I'm gonna draw a line in black. And then I'm gonna do a sort of a smile up. And then I'm gonna come back down and just make that triangle a little bigger. Now he's got a little crooked smile. That makes him really cute, right? So if your red's not dry, get your big person to dry your red. So remember this arm here? We're going to draw the two black lines on either side of it, and then I'm going to bring it this way a little bit. Okay? And this one, he kind of already is going that way. And then it comes this way. It went past his body. That was up inside of his body, right? With this leg here, go over your football, your first football. Take your time and go around that football. And then where this leg is at the top of that, you're going to come down over the body some. See, it goes into the body a little bit. And with this one, we're going to go over that triangle that we first did. Stop where your body is, okay? Let's draw the body first. That'll, that'll help so you'll know where to stop. So you're going to go over your original football down to his leg. 
So see where that stopped now? I didn't go past that line. And then let's trace this leg. And there, see where it stopped? Right at that leg. And then there's another leg there. Three legs. Might as well do this part too then. I can go pretty fast because I paint a lot. So don't go fast. It's not a race. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not going to look like mine. It's going to look like yours. Okay, I have to bring this over because I can't reach over there. Let's follow that line of the football down first. And that will show us where we stop with the legs, okay? This one here comes down and down inside of his body. And then trace that football. Trace this football. There we go. Do your triangle. Follow this line, start there, come down, stop at the body, and then swoop around a little bit with this one. And then that last leg that just looks like a triangle. There. Oh, missed a little bit here. Under the bottom part of his football. There we go. And we just have to do his claws. And all you're doing is going around, around your circle. See how much funner he looks now? And then you're going to go on the edge of all these chompers. Chompers. And around that one. Wow, he's looking good. He is looking good. Back claw. Whoop. I might have a visitor. I think he's going outside. And whoop, I'm a clumper. Whoop, whoop. So fun. There, that looks great. <sighs> now, remember when I said I was gonna give him some floating eyeballs or eyebrows? Just like his mouth. We are gonna put one right up here. It's just like this long triangle. And then we're going to give him one over here, a little bit, a little bit shorter. Wow. Now he's looking funny. We have to still go around his eyeballs. This is the hardest part, I think, but you can do it. Just take your time. Oops, I went in the white instead of the black. That's not going to work. When I do this, I hold my breath. <sighs> Just blow out. Oh, I love it. My guy doesn't even have a name. I wonder what would name this guy. Mr. Crappy Pants. My circle isn't even a circle. That's okay. It looks cute. Don't worry that your circle's not perfectly round. It doesn't have to be. We're painting cartoons. They can be whatever we want. There. I like it. Okay, like I said, one last thing to do, and that's to give him a little bit of a shine in his eyes. So clean off that little brush. We're going to go into some white on the little brush and we're going to give a little dot on the green for shine a little dot over there on the green maybe we should do it right 
on the green and black. Oh, no. I don't think that we need to. Hmm. Let's make some gray. I think this eye needs just a little something else. So take some black and some white and mix them together till you get gray. Okay, so I did that. A little bit of gray there. And I'm just going to go around the edge of this eye on the inside. Just a little bit. And then over here on this part. Make sure it's round, okay? Nice and round like the eyeball. If that's too much for you, you just take some white on your brush and then go back in the white and you can go back over top of that gray and get rid of it a little bit, okay? That's up to you. But I really like it. You can even take a little bit of gray and just you can go around the, the green color if you're very careful. Just so that the green stands out a little bit more. Or you can make, maybe you want your eyeballs to be light blue. Whatever color you want. This is your painting. You have all the control. Yeah, I like it with a little bit of gray around the outside of it. Okay, I'm going to bring this really close to you guys so you can take a good look at it. Oh boy, here I come. Okay, see his eyeballs. Whoopsie. There's a little bit of gray on the edge, a little bit of gray around the green part. And his bubbles and where his legs are. Super fun. And then all you need to do, kiddos, is you need to sign this. My name is Tammy, so I'm going to sign mine down here. Right through that bubble. I signed my name really big because I want people to see that I painted that. Okay. Oh, and it looks backwards to you guys because that's just the way my camera is. So thanks for coming out. I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to paint something else. I don't know what yet, but we'll see you then. Bye.